Hello, freak bitches. You know, I was thinking about, bro, the other day I was driving, and I was thinking about news radio. You so crazy. You motherfucking hired, not Horshack, but you Epstein. hired Epstein to play your brother, yeah. Nick DiPaolo. I was just Epstein, thinking, Nick DiPaolo, and Brian Callen. Oh, my God. Where did you pull up Epstein from? Well, they hired Epstein, but Nick DiPaolo and Brian Callen, I brought in. Okay. I thought that you yeah. hired Epstein, too. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, I, I, I didn't meet him until he was on the set. He was a real nice guy, though. Did he pass away? I don't think so. I don't, yeah, yeah, I think. Check it. I feel you know like he really, did. You know who's really fucking sick, bro? Your buddy. The one guy you introduced me to from that baseball show you were on. The Spanish guy that was on there with you, nice guy. Spanish guy. Yeah, you were on a baseball show. You, yeah, well, I'm thinking Louis Lombardi. Louis Lombardi. Mike Starr. Mike Starr. Who, uh... The Spanish guy that came to visit you at the store a few times. He's Puerto sick? Rican guy. Yeah, I just donated to his uh, <laughs> GoFundMe or something. There's a dude from Star Trek. Remember that, that dude that's in Star Trek all the time? Uh, fucking, what is his name? God damn it. But he was the older pitcher, and I was the young asshole ball player. Was that Betty White? Yeah, she was in it. Not Betty. Was it Betty White? No. The other lady from, uh, what's the cast? Some, god damn it. I don't remember her name. See if you can find the cast. Yeah, but you don't want images. You want actual text. Don't go to images. Sometimes it pops up. Well, see, yeah, Ben. Go. Rosemary. Yeah, Rosemary. Ben Greenwood, Mike Starr. Keep going, scrolling left. Yeah, Ben Greenwood. He that guy's in Star. He's in a bunch of movies now. Dan Florick. He was in um, Law and Order. Law and Order. But yeah. go the other way. That dude. And Allie uh, Wentworth. She was hilarious. She's been dude, in a bunch of shit. Chris Browning. He was on. He's been a bunch of Sons things. Sons Anarchy recently. Was he? Mike fucking It's weird, star. man. What year was that? What year does it say it was? 94. 94. 94. Jesus. That's when I had to move to California. I was miserable. <laughs> I was shooting this the first couple of weeks. <sighs> Look at me. I was like 26 there. That's so weird. Um, you know what, man? When, when it first started out, it was fun. And then um, what happened was... With, with TV shows, a lot of times you have like these really funny writers, and these guys who wrote it originally were really good. But the, uh, they had written for Married with Children and The Simpsons, and the network had decided for some reason that they weren't strong enough to run the show, and that they, they were only writers. They weren't like a, a real showrunner. So they brought in this guy who was a showrunner, and he was terrible. And I didn't get along with him at all. And they were actually close to firing me or him, like there was like a real like impasse between the two of us because the guy's writing was dog shit. I was crazy back then, dude. I didn't give a fuck. I had zero filter. I never thought I was gonna be an actor in the first place. I couldn't believe him on the set. And so they would try to get me to do stuff and I'd be like, what? And they would like give me the script like, well, we made revisions to the script and I would read it, I goes, this is fucking terrible. And they would get pissed at me and people would be pissed. I'm like, tell me how this is funny. Explain to me how this is funny. And then, you know, like executives are going, you know, you're, they were talking to my agent, this guy, you know, he's, he's very arrogant and, you know, he's, he's causing problems on the set. And I'm like, I'm not causing problems on the set. I go, they took the writer stuff, they rewrote it and they turned it into dog shit. You show me, show me how it's not. And I, and I, I was like very close to like killing my sitcom career completely just by having no filter. But then they realized it, they read it. And then they came and watched some of the run-throughs, and the network fired him. But it was close. He wanted me out. But I was one of the stars of the show. It was me and that Ben Greenwood guy. But, and then, I mean, it was, a, it was an ensemble show, but I played the, the star player. There was, it was about a baseball team, a fucked-up baseball team. And I was the, the guy who was always causing trouble and wrecking his car and going crazy. And so they were having a real problem with me. But it was, it, it was because these guys that had originally wrote it, these guys were genius. They were really, really funny. And they took their words and just butchered it and turned it into some hackneyed, fucked up sitcom. Which is what they usually do. Well, Jim Brewer was in the pilot with me. Jim Brewer, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I look 
looked like a baby. It's so weird. Um, so Jim Brewer was in the pilot with me. He played the uh, mascot for the team. Fuck, he was funny, man. And Jim and I were buddies from New York. There's Jim. That's Jim Brewer. <laughs> no, Jim Brewer played a pioneer who uh, I f- he had like the, the ba- I feel like, like he got in a fight. Jeff Curran and Kevin Martin. Back, back that up right there where you see the, the line, line on the screen. Yeah. Where you see the words like right there. Kevin Curran rather and Jeff Martin. Sorry, I fucked their names up. Kevin Curran and Jeff Martin were the guys who, who wrote it. And um, they were really, really nice guys and really funny guys. But they were writers, you know, and this was something that they had created. And then the network just butchered it. And then it wound up getting canceled. And then I was ready to move back to New York, but I fucked up and I'd already got a lease on an apartment. I got an apartment on Moore Park in Studio City, or in, it was actually North Hollywood. And uh, I was like, fuck, I already got this apartment. Like, what do I do? And so I'm like, God, I got to stay here because I got a lease. And I was like, shit, I want to move back to New York. I hated it out here.